Thank you, Alexa. You know, gut health plays a critical role in our well-being, impacting everything, not only just from your digestion, but also your immune function, your mood, your energy, your brain health. So everything, right? All everything. Right. All the things. <laughs> All the things. Dr. Stephen Gundry, physician and four-time New York Times best-selling author, discusses it all in his new book, The Gut Brain Paradox. Dr. Gundry, welcome. Hey, thanks for having me. Of course. So we, we I'm like, do we need more than a prebiotic, a probiotic? You're saying yes we need, we need a lot of things here and, and and it is vitally important that we take yes. care of our gut we cannot ignore it right right you know Hippocrates the father of medicine <laughs> 2,500 years ago right. said all disease begins in the gut the guy was right and I've been spending 25 years now in my practice figuring out why he was right and mm -hmm. this is my latest con contribution right. the gut brain paradox so we weren't joking when we said it affects everything. Yep. Brain fog, the cognition, your mood. But what you discovered kind of flips everything you initially thought about the gut on, on its head. What did you discover? Well, that believe it or not, there's 100,000 trillion bacteria in our gut. There's a lot. A lot. <laughs> there's a <laughs> lot of them. And these guys, we now know, control just about everything that happens to us. For instance, our mood mm -hmm. is controlled by our gut bacteria. We can actually look at gut bacteria in people who are anxious and depressed, mm -hmm. and they're totally different than people who are happy. In fact, people who have an outgoing personality, like you, right. have different bacteria that make you outgoing. Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I find this so interesting because we are talking so much about how people are struggling with their mental health. Mm. We're also talking so much about the diets that we eat, especially here in the United States. We're also talking so much about obesity. These are not in three separate silos, are they? It's all exactly the right. same. And this has all happened really since about 1970 when we started using broad spectrum antibiotics. Mm -hmm. We started spraying Roundup on all our food. Right. And we unfortunately started feeding antibiotics to all the animals that we eat. Right. So even if we aren't taking antibiotics, the, if we're right. consuming animal protein, we're consuming that too. And little did we know that Roundup, the major ingredient is glyphosate, was right. patented as an antibiotic. And so it turns out that those things kill off these friendly bacteria in our gut we need those. that actually make us happy. And it's no wonder that so many of us are depressed. But the purpose of the book is say, don't Fix. despair. Okay. We can fix this. Okay, come on, give it. All right. <laughs> We've been waiting, Dr. Right. First things we got to do. Most of us are profoundly deficient in vitamin D, D. Mm -hmm. the sunshine vitamin. Yep. Most of my patients need 10,000 international units of vitamin D3 a day. Mm -hmm. And our idea of vitamin D toxicity is really old school you got to have a vitamin D level that's quite high. And most of us have very low vitamin D levels. It turns out the more vitamin D you have, the happier mix of bacteria you have in your gut. And take your D with your K, which K2, one? K2, very K2. good, yes. very good. Yeah. And very take good. it with yeah. fat, right? No, it's you fat. don't have to, believe it or not, <laughs> oh, it's absorbed right. without fat. Okay. That's okay. a misnomer. You introduced us to something new or something I, I don't, I've never heard of, the Holobiome. Holo what is this? Okay, so some, some people have heard about the microbiome. Correct. That, in general, refers to all these collection of bugs that live down in primarily our colon. Mm -hmm. But we have 700 species of bacteria in our mouth. We have 1,000 species of bacteria in our skin. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, you and I both have a bunch of bacteria floating around us in a cloud. Mm -hmm. In fact, there's some evidence that personal space oh. is when my cloud meets your oh, cloud. Oh, are, so are that's, my clouds supposed to mingle? Uh, well, <laughs> believe it or not, there's some interesting evidence that kissing was developed so that your bacteria can decide whether my bacteria oh, are compatible. Yeah. There's so much more that we need to dig into, and I think we're going to have to go for the we book because the we book. got the hard rap from the producer in the ear, <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Stephen Gundry. Thank you so much for giving us a good tease and a primer into Absolutely. what exactly we need to be doing to keep ourselves healthy. Yeah, you got me hooked. His book, The Gut Brain Paradox, is available starting today. So get it and improve that gut. Dr. Gundry, thank you so much. Congrats.